What is up guys, AshBFC here, and welcome to the Mafia Finale. So here we go, the final mission of the game, The Death of Art. And I've not been looking forward to this because, goddamn, this is fucking hard. Here we go. We hid the dough from the bank at Pauly's for the time being. We couldn't blow it all straight away, so we arranged that I'd stop by there the next day, and we'd think of the best way to invest it. I had loads of ideas of what to do with the money, but I was pretty curious about what Pauly's plans were. Oh, Jesus! What the hell happened? Pauly! Pauly! Christ! The, the dough! Where's the dough? Damn it, it's all gone! This is like a bad dream. Polly? Yeah, uh, Sam? It's, it's Tom. Polly's dead. I, uh, I... Christ! I knew it. Tom, you're in deep shit. I wanted to warn Polly. Salieri found out about the bank and decided he wasn't gonna tolerate it. I didn't make it in time. Tom, you gotta disappear fast. Sam, I, I, I didn't know it would be such a big deal. I... Well, what should I do? I can't just leave Sarah and the kid. Okay, okay, Tom, I'll help you. We gotta meet somewhere, but almost everywhere is dangerous for you now. Our best bet would be the city gallery. Okay, okay. I'll be there in a little while. I... thank you. You, you know Polly is lying here in a million pieces. I, I don't know who else I could turn to. It's okay. I still owe you one. Thanks, Sam. Oh, shit. So here we go. Oh, here come the cops. Let's get out of here. Right, I'm taking this. Um. Tell you what, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go get some weapons. Um. Then I'll go to the. Uh, I'll go meet Sam. I think I can get weapons now. I'm gonna go try anyway. All right, so here we are right here. So yeah, I uh, stocked up on guns and ammo. And unfortunately, I found myself on 96 uh, health already because uh, some maniac crashed into me. You don't believe me, do you? You think I crashed into them? Well, you'd be right. I crashed into them. You've seen my driving, what do you expect? But oh boy. Oh, Christ almighty, here we go. This fucking sucks. Don't move, scumbag! Oh, shit! Surprise! <laughs> you weren't looking for that at Pauly's, by chance. Sam, what's going on? I thought we were meeting alone. The situation's changed, Tom. I had to decide whose side I was on, and sorry, but it would be suicidal to stand on your side. I can live with murder, though. So you killed Pauly? Well... I was more the means to his death. The same as I am in your case. I would never have expected this from you, Sam. Well, I'm in a good mood. Things are looking up for me, and I, well, I found a bag of money. So killing off your partners is a big laugh? Maybe I should try it. 
Eh, it ain't bad, but you probably won't have time. It's never too late to start. I guess honor's out of the picture. Honor's meaningless. This is business, and you've broken its unwritten rules many times over, Tom. Maybe I feel some pity, but that's out of place in business. I didn't notice that I was the cause of the family's problems. Really? You did what you wanted, Tom. You didn't kill Frank. You let that whore get away, and then the bank? You can't do what you know is right, because you don't know nothing. You don't grasp the effects of your actions. The Don is the thinker. You were never a great thinker, so you probably need him. That's not how I feel. I can think for myself. The opinion of Don Cilieri is that he won't go and sit in jail just because of your feelings. And I agree with his opinion completely. Don Cilieri really liked you, Tom. And I did, too. We'll cry together at the funeral. You poor bastard, Sam. I feel sorry for you. But I'm alive. It's a pity you can't use that money. Oh, but don't worry. We'll give Sarah a little something. You know, single mothers don't have it easy these days. The Don will take care of her. He isn't as much of a monster as you think. Goodbye, Tom. It was nice knowing you. Take good care of him, boys. And please, don't make him suffer. He's my buddy. Hmm. Pulling a max pen there. All right, here we go. God damn it, Sam. God damn it. Where's the other guy? Getting hit this early on. Yeah, we're gonna have guys coming from down here. Oh boy, forgot about him. This is the thing we're just going up against so many guys. Uh oh, 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 reload, 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 reload. Thompson! Oh boy, that was... Whew. Yeah, we've got a... Uh, quite a long way to go before there's any sort of checkpoint, as usual with this game. Just so many guys we're going up against. Alright, let's go. 74 health. Mm, I've done it on less. It's the truth. But I would say this is definitely the hardest mission besides the racing mission, but you could argue this one's harder. But I've always had more trouble with the racing mission, and that's always pissed me off more, but... I think... We... A couple of guys in here. Get out there at the end. to shoot the, uh, the wall there several times. Very typical of me there. Just gotta watch out for the shotgunners. Oh Christ am I? They're an usually guy there, is they? Over there. Right, we run forward here, they're gonna throw a grenade. So run back. Yeah. Boom. Now there's gonna be more coming in, I think. Yeah. Just two of them. And there's gonna be guys at the top of the stairs. Did any of them drop any Thompson ammo? I would really appreciate it if they did. They didn't. To be honest, it would be pretty good to have a rifle round about now that I had to drop that when those guys come running at me. Uh, 
I just dropped it. Oh no, I've got the rifle. What did I drop then? Hang on a minute, there's usually... There's usually a guy here in the middle and a guy here on the right, for sure. As I see it, the boys underestimated you, Tom. Well, I hope they'll be luckier this time. Boys, be careful you don't break anything. There are lots of beautiful and valuable things in here. Duh. Okay, now these guys. Yeah, I forgot about that cutscene there. And no, no checkpoint after that cutscene. We'll be back to the beginning. If I die. These guys. Don't think I can aim between the. Uh... Oh, that got him. That didn't. That did. Guy on the right side. This guy, guy's directly above me as well. That was definitely an headshot. Him. Cheeky bugger there with the Thompson. Right, I'm pretty sure there is another guy out there as well. Give me Thompson back. Can't remember if he's on the left or right, but I'm sure there's another guy up there. Maybe even. I know these guys in this back room here, but I'm sure someone tries to. Oh, this guy there. Oh Christ, go there. Thompson Ammo, thank you very much. Get around this corner, maybe? Or maybe not. Oh, hello. I forgot we had a thing. Oh Christ! Who threw that? It's insanely rude. Was it you there, sir? I don't recall there ever being a first aid box there. I must have missed it. All these playthroughs I've had, I've just been trying to get through on one. A lot of health. Wow. Oh god. <laughs> Did you sneak up on you, man? Right, is this room clear? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it is. Hello there, sir. Let me grab that ammo. Let's reload. And again, no checkpoints. Where do we go up again? I think we want to go through one of these doors. I think. Okay. Oh Christ, two shotgunners. You come anywhere near me! It's weird how some of them like go down so quick, others take like a million shots. Whoa! There's way more guys than I remember in this room. Oh. It's, it's always it's these bits where I always get caught out. I'll end up like a guy sneaking behind me with a shotgun or something. Room. 
be ducked down behind these uh, these sofas. Ah, I saw you, you little bastard. Oh, has he got a son off? Oh crap, someone get... Did he manage to tag me from there with his son off? I thought someone had come behind me then. Alright, panic on. Oi! Yeah, that got him, I heard him go... Uh... Reload! Oh, is that a magnum? Hell, I thought he got one. But that, uh, that thing packs a punch. That wouldn't be a bad gun to use, to be honest with you. Sam! Shit, oh my god! You're tearing me up! Oi! Come on. Thompson, I know. No, that's shotgun. No, it's Thompson, isn't it? He's got some as well. Oh, God damn, I think the window cleaner's here. He's been making a lot of noise. Oh, I can knock him off his ladder if he distracts me. I seem to recall... No, oh, okay. I seem to recall there might be a, like a... Getting caught by a guy hiding in the corner or something. This is on the squeaky floor. Oh, boy. Oh boy. We're all back on the uh, the stairway. I think I need to go up now, don't I? Oh, god damn it. Just give me that checkpoint, please. Please! Alright, I think we've got guys up here. I can't remember are they in there or in here. Oh god. No, I think this is empty, this room. Yeah, okay. How about this way? I think I'm close to my checkpoint. This is the final bit, I think. Pretty sure of it. Sam should be up here, I think. It looks like you underestimated your new partners. Maybe you ought to change sides. It's still not over, Tom. Things aren't what they look like, Sam. Salieri also double-crossed you. What are you talking about? We almost got killed because of those stupid cigars. Salieri knew that the job was risky. There were diamonds hidden between those cigars. He didn't want to give us a cut. That's why Paulie wanted to take the bank. Because he realized how Salieri was ripping us off. He told me about those diamonds, Tom. He only wanted to keep them secret so nobody knew where they were before he sold them. Besides, the diamonds have nothing to do with the fact that you didn't kill Frank! He broke the Omerta. Which is worse, Tom. How do you know I didn't kill Frank? You can blame it all on someone else you didn't kill. You're too human. She came back to the city and we found her by accident. Damn it. Tom, Tom, Tom. You know you can't trust a dame. I can understand it isn't easy to kill your wife's best friend. Yeah, I should have done it for you. <laughs> she also pleaded with me and cried. Uh, 
Well, we realized that we couldn't rely on you, so we checked up a little and found out about Frank. Sam, do you really think everything has to end like this? We still got a chance. There ain't no way back now, Tom. I'm sorry. Alright, let's kill this brick. And seriously, fuck this part right here. I despise it. Okay, there's a little shit stain. He takes like 3 billion hits. It's ridiculous. You take about 3 and you're dead. He's so accurate. Look at that bullshit. Dude, you can't stay out in the open. Just rip you apart. Ah, oh, shut your mouth! Piece of shit. What we want to try and do is position him so that he yeah, okay, cannot like this. Doesn't always work, sometimes it does. Where well, you can see a little bit of him, you can fire at him, but he ain't shooting back. Okay, and the bullshit. You see, I'm clearly on him there and it's not working. Sometimes the aiming's fucked in this game. The sh precision so shit. I don't think it matters what weapon you use, you don't do any more damage to him. No, I don't think this is a good choice of weapon. You want to be using something that constantly fires on him, not reloading after every shot. Fucking move, that's not what I wanted. Sometimes he will move, sometimes he won't. Where is he? Yeah, he's there. I can't get him there. Right, okay, this might be it. Okay. I want to keep trying to get him like this, basically. Then move, probably when you reload and... It's possible that I've hit him enough times. When you've hit him enough times, he'll run off. No, okay, I've not hit him enough times. Okay, that might be it. Yep, yeah, okay. In the blood stains. So you know you've got him. This is the shitty, 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 really shitty part. You've done all that work. He's going to pop out around the corner. You need to be hitting him before he hits you. Ow! <clears throat> Hey, it's the same situation again, Tom. And once again, you can't decide. Damn it.
You did it. But I'll get you all the same. Salieri will get you. He stood by you. You rat. You're dangerous, Tom. And Pauly <laughs> is dead. He was never, never sure that you would, wouldn't forgive his death. Oh, you're gonna have to hide like an outcast. And one day, they'll get you. All the same. <laughs> like Frank. They found him? You only, like, lengthened his life. But in the end, they found him. All the same. And Frank was the Don's only real friend. Friendship ain't worth shit. Oh! Ah! Ow! Oh! Oh! So it was you again, huh? You destroyed the picture collection? Worth a few million dollars? I wasn't planning on it, but somehow it worked out that way. Otherwise, that's everything? I got out of there fast. It was no picnic. I really was in danger, but I pulled it off. I took the wife and daughter and immediately left the country. Sam was right. If they decided to find Frank in Europe and take revenge almost five years after he disappeared, they wouldn't let me just leave after betraying them. And you're willing to say all that you've now said to me in front of a court? And give evidence against all those men? Don't you think the situation will be a lot worse for you? What you're planning to do now isn't betrayal. It's more like treason. If these people go to jail, or better yet, death row, they won't be able to take revenge on me. At least not as easily as if they were free. I am willing to give evidence against them if you ensure our protection and after the trial a new identity for me, my wife, and my daughter. If we manage to pull it off, it will be the biggest legal battle this country's ever seen. It's an interesting offer. I don't know if it's moral to help somebody like you, but I think the results will be worth it. I think we'll help you. Everything worked out until the legal case. I sat in my cell and wrote down the evidence I had against all the people I had worked with. People I had been friends with for ten years. The case was huge and caused a shock throughout the country. Salieri got life. Even some of his thugs got the chair. The shortest sentence was eight years. I spent the whole time in a closed cell at a secret location with no visitors. I didn't see Sarah or my little girl the entire time. In the end, it was worth it. Norman got us new identities and moved us to the other end of the U.S. I got work as a driver for a respectable company. We started a whole new life. This piece was only interrupted by the war, but we got through it. Mr. Angelo? Uh, yes? Mr. Salieri sends his regards. You know, the world isn't run by the laws written on paper. It's run by people. Some according to laws, others not. It depends on each individual how his world will be, how he makes it. And you also need a whole lot of luck so that somebody else doesn't make your life hell. And it ain't as simple as they tell you in grade school. But it is good to have strong values and to maintain them in marriage, in crime, 
in war. Always and everywhere. I messed up. So did Polly and Sam. We wanted a better life, but in the end, we were a lot worse off than most other people. You know, I think it's important to keep a balance in things. Yeah, balance, that's the right word. Because the guy who wants too much risks losing absolutely everything. Of course, the guy who wants too little from life <laughs> might not get anything at all. I love that ending. It's very sad, but come on, it was never going to be a happy ending for Tommy, was it? And yeah, those two guys there at the end, they were Vito and Joe from Mafia 2. But yeah, what a great game. I just hate that end boss fight there at the end. That's where I always get caught, you know, when he pops out around the corner. Um, a number of times he's caught me there. I mean, he's going to catch you your first time you play because you're not going to be expecting it, but. Very frustrating. Very frustrating. In fact, there's been a whole lot of frustration through this walkthrough. This game has just hated me throughout this walkthrough. <laughs> it's been a nightmare. But, you know, I'm still glad I've done it for the most part. Cause it's, it's a fantastic game. And, uh, yeah. Glad to have done it. So, yeah, there you go, guys. That is Mafia. I don't really think this song really fits here at the end, does it? Really? Well, anyway. So, there you have it, guys. So, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you later.